Scenes of cooperation in southwest China as U.S. and Chinese soldiers work together to free a victim trapped in rubble or to treat an injured person or to build a bridge to rescue people trapped on the other side of a river. It's a joint disaster relief exercise overseen by top U.S. and China commanders. This is the fourth such disaster relief drill since 2013, and it is a show of goodwill from both sides. But this friendly atmosphere going on here is a stark contrast to what's going on not far away from here, where the U.S. and Chinese navies are locked in a tense standoff in the South China Sea. Since 2012, the Chinese have seized territory and militarized artificial islands in the region. In response, the U.S. has sailed warships and flown planes nearby. The delicate stalemate is part of a complicated relationship between the world's two largest militaries that the new U.S. Commander-in-Chief will have to manage. But what will U.S. President-elect Donald Trump's military policy toward China look like? In short, it's hard to tell. Trump largely avoided the issue on the campaign trail, driving home an anti-China economic message instead. We can't continue to allow China to rape our country, and that's what they're doing. Some analysts have speculated that Trump could give China more of a free pass in the South China Sea, instead focusing on other issues like trade. But others point to who might join Trump's administration and say a tough-on-China policy could be in the works. Very conservative uh, people who uh, really embrace very anti-China rhetoric. Trump's pick for national security advisor, retired General Mike Flynn, has said that China should, quote, certainly be viewed as an enemy of the United States. Retired General James Mattis, a top contender for defense secretary, last year called for a, quote, policy to build the counterbalance if China continues to expand its bullying role in the South China Sea. Back at the disaster relief exercise, CNN asked another expert, four-star General Robert Brown, commander of the U.S. Army Pacific, what advice he would give to the Trump administration on China if asked. The more you can build relationships, uh, you then it leads to trust. And when you lead to trust, you can have differences. Those differences were put aside at this joint training. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. But it will be up to Donald Trump and his administration if any more group photos will be taken in the years to come. Matt Rivers, CNN, Kunming, China.